Hello. Do you have the password? Yes. What is the password? Can I please come in? That's not the password. Um, what is the password, man? Uh, I would like to come in. I please. would like to come in, please. You're most welcome. Oh, Hi. wow. Thank you. Thank you. You have such an incredible house. Thank you. You know, it's so extravagant. It feels like I'm at a business lounge at an airport. <laughs> yeah, because we've got the, you know, this decoration, we've got the in-house bar. But it's like... anything but business. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, okay. So, which is your favorite spot? Which is, which is your corner in this place? Okay, uh, my corner is usually there. Okay, let's, usually. let's head there. Yeah. This is a lovely photo of your daughter. Yes, this was her first birthday. How sweet. And uh, Medina is her name, and Roya is my wife. Uh, uh, but this was Medina's first birthday. It's a very special moment. Very yeah, cute. Yeah, yeah. And this might be uh, a silly question, but what is that thing? This? Yes. These are speakers. Oh, okay. These are Bangalosan speakers. Got it, got it. And got these it. are special editions because you, uh, these are uh, special 75th uh, anniversary editions. It just so happened that, you know, I was going to go for the standard, I mean, the standard ones. Uh, but then they suddenly said to me that, you know what, it's the 75th year. And, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, Give it to me. <laughs> I, I have, to have the precious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very nice, you know? very nice. These these are friends, colleagues, hmm. moments of my life. Uh, in we have you mid dance step. Is it over here? <laughs> yes. Are you are you quite the dancer? Uh, well. Kind of, okay. kind of. My, my, my daughter keeps saying to me that, you know, dance. And I'm like, uh, I'm okay. And then suddenly she sees me in a concert and, mm. I, I, and I'm dancing my butt Raging, off. Yeah. And, and she said, well, you know, you dance over there. Why don't you dance otherwise? Right. You know? And I'm like, I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know? I get it. So I, I, I just sort of get, uh, yeah. So, but I do, there was a time when I used to love constantly dancing. And uh, you mentioned you have a home theater. Yes. Can we please see that? Yes, sure, yes, sure, 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 sure. That's that's one of my passions. Movies are my passion yeah. in the sense that um, I'm a I, I'm a hardcore collector. I've got more than fourteen thousand five hundred movies. Oh, okay. Uh, and and uh, you know it's just one of those things. Um, so here you go. Oh, uh, very nice. Oh, I see a lot of games. You yeah, games? yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a lot of games too. Yeah. You're a big so, gamer. Yeah. Um, off and on, off and on. I go through phases, you know. Okay. I, I go through phases where suddenly I'm sort of I've gone nuts on 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 on, on games, hmm. and then suddenly I just don't have the time to do it. But whenever I do, it's all set. So what phase are we in right now? Right now, I'm I'm, I'm in the phase that I'm not playing. Okay. But my, but my, my my daughter is is playing all the time. So I see. So you know, um, so I've got the you know the the PS and I've got the the Xbox. And, hmm. You know. So sometimes you're playing against your daughter. I don't dare do that. Oh, yeah. and, and if I and if I do, uh, mm -hmm. I make sure that I don't win. Oh, okay. So you know that's just not that she defeats you. Uh, no, no, no. Of course Wrong. not. Okay. No, I mean uh, that's too humiliating to, <laughs> to admit. <laughs> it doesn't suit my agenda to yeah. admit that, that she would just beat me. <laughs> so so I, I was told that you know how to play thirty five different instruments. Is that true? Yeah, it's amazing what you can do when you're bored. <laughs> <laughs> and you're also acknowledged as one of the fastest piano players on the planet. Yes? Uh, yeah, uh, that's what I'm told. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> where'd that come from? Oh, that's, what a coincidence. <laughs> you got it, sir. Will you be so kind to play something for sure, us? Sure, yes. sure, sure, sure. Okay. I'll just stand beside you like this. That I'm serenading you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, are you kidding me? Wow, an absolute rock star. Thank you. <laughs> How long would it take me to learn that? Oh, that, uh, a lifetime. <laughs> okay, okay, never mind. Never a lifetime, mind. <laughs> um, give or take a decade. Sure, sure. <laughs> that was lovely, sir. Thank, thank you, you so very much. much for doing thank that. you, thank, thank you. you. I'm glad you liked it. 
Oh, how the turntable. So this is your wall of fame? Yeah, well, this is actually my, my, my wall of education. These are all the people, the, the, the geniuses that I grew up listening to. Like, for example, Ustad Amjad Ali Khan Saab. I mean, uh, he was the first person uh, whom I heard uh, for Indian classical music. And it was Raag Durga. And um, uh, I was blown away. So years ago, you had undergone like a, a massive body transformation. Mm. At one point, you know, you were weighing around 230 kilos. Oh yeah, to full which, wholesome. Yes. <laughs> 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 to which the doctor at one point said you might just have around six months to live. That's true, yeah. How did you, how does one take the, that news from a doctor? So when he turned around and, you know, um, and said that, you know, uh, Mr. Sami, you know, uh, the kind of lifestyle you have and the results of your, your, your checkup, etc. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if your parents found you dead in a hotel room six months from now. That's and how I'm, he said it? That's exactly how he said it. I mean, I, mean, I, I will never forget that sentence uh, because, you know, it, it stuck so badly in my head. And I'm like, dude, Okay, fine, but why did you have to say this in front of my, you know, my dad? You know, I mean, and to be honest with you, I I couldn't have turned around. I mean, I lost 100 and almost 160, 60 kilos. Um, at that time, when I started, it was a it was a mountain to to climb, and and so you can't turn around at that point in time and say, oh well, you know, I'm going to lose 160 kilos. Yeah. You, know? you can't do that. I mean, you know, at that point in time, if you lose 10 kilos, it's like, whoa, yeah. well done, you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Behind that entire facade, I was going through a lot of trouble. I mean, I was in trouble, and it was very painful. I had, um, I had sleep apnea. Um, I could not sleep lying down. I could not sleep lying down. For years, I slept sitting like you're sitting right now. A point came that my legs became so heavy that I couldn't even lift them up to get into the car. I mean, my drivers, they were trained that the moment I come near the, 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 the car, they open the door and they would lift my leg and put it in there. And they did it in such a discreet manner that, that nobody really, and it happened so quickly that nobody would really realize what, what the hell happened just now, you know? But this is reality, what I went through. And so, um, of course, everybody turned around and said, oh, you know, he was so cute. You know, he was so right. amazing. He was yeah. Golu Molu and all that. I'm like, excuse me, you have no idea. <laughs> you know, you have no idea what you're talking about. Wow, this, uh, is, I had a lot of fun segments prepared. I don't know how I'm gonna segue into that, but let's try. That's an incredible variety of stuff. Yes. And from East to West and Middle East and whatever. Yeah, <laughs> well said. So, let me explain what the segment is. It's called OK Boomer. It is a segment where I quiz our guests mm -hmm. on some of the Gen Z lingo. Are okay. you familiar by any chance? Well, we'll find out. We will find out, yes. <laughs> so, if you do well, you get the cheesecake. Oh, that's a baklava cheesecake. Yes. Oh, it's one nothing of my... but the best. For you. Oh, it's, yeah. it's one of my favorites. You yeah. know, this is just so vulgar. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna give a few words and phrases. Mm -hmm. You're gonna tell me what it means. Okay. Yeah. The first one is snowflake. Snowflake. I mean. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's the literal meaning. Okay. So now in a little bit of a slang. Gen oh, okay. Z connotation. Okay. What's a okay. snowflake? I would think that a snowflake is a a kind of a dubious person mm -hmm. who tries to create a nonsense from the reality, and he snowflakes it. He tries to uh, he tries to cover it up. Okay. Okay. Know? So uh, a dodgy kind of a person. Sure. You know, I love your answer. It is absolutely wrong. But I, I, okay. I give you a lot of points. So snowflake. You is... have to give me marks for really. No, no, answers. you really. And I, you only you almost sold me on. Yeah, that. yeah. yeah I was like, wait, what does it mean again? Okay. Yeah. So snowflake <laughs> is uh, somebody who's really sensitive. Okay. We use it on the internet. You're like, stop being such a snowflake, dude. Okay. I have another word for those guys. Let's hear it. Woke. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. But first one wrong. That's yeah. fine. Okay. Next one is big brain. Uh, that, in my opinion, would be a huge sarcastic way of telling somebody who is dumb, hmm. but tries overly hard 
to project themselves as a Mr. Know It All, and um, but gets it all wrong. Okay, sort of like you right now. Like because, I am yeah, right now. Yeah, because that is also wrong. Yeah. But I'm loving your energy. Yeah, because you know the thing is that you know, fake it till you make it. Fake it till you make it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So Big Brain, I mean you were close. Big Brain is actually just a cooler way of saying when someone says or does something really smart, like Big Brain. Okay, I call that person a genius. Sure, yeah, but this is but this is this the slang. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next we have stop the cap. Okay, I mean I find it very irritating on the internet when somebody starts typing, um, uh, typing. In, in in capitals. Oh, okay. And and then they end up, you know, they start using the caps. <laughs> To 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 let you know that they're actually shouting at you. Yeah. Well, it actually means stop lying. Okay. How? Oh, I mean, well, the cap uh, means lying. What? Well, how? how? Well, I mean, okay, it came from a song. Which is? The name of the song? Yeah. Um, it's a Wiz Khalifa song. Oh, which one? Which Wiz Khalifa song? Uh, capping really hard. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Mm. I'm capping right now. None of that was true. I know that. Yeah. So, uh, but, th but that was good. Yeah. Thank you. That was good. Right? I almost Thank had you. you. <laughs> now, no, you didn't. No. But oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, now, uh, okay. rent free. I mean, a person who's just living rent free is a guy who's like a freeloader, um, who doesn't take responsibility for anything, and uh, jumps onto the bandwagon for for any freebie mm. that is possible. Basically, a low life. Okay. And 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 also has the audacity to be judgmental. Oh. It's like you. Yeah. Shut the up. Okay. Because you are getting a free meal. Hmm. And you are just a freeloader. Yeah. I love how there's so much layers to your answers. Yeah. yeah I mean, I mean, look. When you want to, you have to yeah. with conviction. I respect that. Yeah, that's I the way you do really it. Do. Otherwise, yeah. I mean, that's what I learned as a lawyer. Oh. That if you are in a corner, just talk your way out of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, he's got everything wrong, ladies and gentlemen. But that is fine, because I'm going to give you one last thing. Okay. Um, and if you can redeem yourself, it's all yours. Okay. Yeah. Your song, Kabito Nazar Milao. All right. Yes. Let's now talk. How would you, okay? <laughs> How would you transform that song for the Gen Z audience? Oh. Okay. He sat back down like this. Actually, I wouldn't change a thing. Okay, no. don't do that. No, I'll tell you why. Hmm. It's timeless. That's your answer, really? Yeah, yeah, because... because it's because, perfect be in every way. Because the point is that the Gen Zs are still singing it. Hmm. They sing it. So yeah. why should I need to change something that is already working for them? That's true, that's true, yeah. I mean, I have all of them singing the song back to me when I'm, when I'm in a concert. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, yeah. why would I want to suddenly... You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So yeah. I wouldn't change a thing. Okay, no. Solid answer, solid answer. So With conviction. Yes. I will give it to you. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. Here you are, good sir. Oh, that's so Would good. Would you like to take a bite? Uh, you know, let me tell you an interesting anecdote about the brownies. Please do. You know, when I, when I was in my full bloom, 230 kilos, when I used to sit in the studio and record people or instruments yeah. or whatever I was doing, I used to have this massive tray. Hmm. You know, this is like, this is like a miniature version. I mean, I used to have one which was like this and this. And it used to be on a table sitting next to me. And I used to be eating brownies like people eat chanas. You know, like mm -hmm. people are having peanuts. Right. And I would be like, I would be like, um, we'll do that one again. <laughs> yeah. Mm. A little bit more feeling. Right. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That was good, huh? That was good. <laughs> you know? Yeah. That's the way I used to eat it. And a lot yeah. of people who saw me at that time, mm. for some reason, they were traumatized by it. They still remember it. They said, do you remember the time when you used to have so many brownies? Mm. When you used to record it? I'm like, yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's my that's my connection with brownies. Got it. But you're right, it's a bit dry. What, what, okay, you're not a big fan. Not of this one. Mm, yeah. I mean, it's tasty, it's good. Yeah, it's super healthy. Carried in zucchini. Yeah, I, mean, I got them specially I mean, done for you. Yeah, thank you very much. But you know what? I mean, when you have to destroy yourself, you may as well not leave out any detail. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah I mean, there's no such thing as halfway destroying yourself. Makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it's like I, I have an issue with 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 the concept of extra virgin oil. Mm, yeah. What, I mean, what is that? I yeah. Mean, you're either virgin, you're not a virgin. There's no such thing as an extra virgin. And you can quote him on that. I mean, what is that? Mm. I mean, it's either or, right? Yeah. So pick a side. Extra virgin. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> 
All right, so next we're going to do a segment. Uh, it's called the rapid fire. Are you familiar? Or maybe it means that uh, you know. Oh, we're back on that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm going. I get obsessed. With yeah. Maybe it means that um, I haven't even kissed. Probably that's what. So yeah, that's why I'm extroverted. That's what I cook with. So <laughs> that would make sense. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to do a rapid fire now. Oh boy, that's yes. left, right? Yes. Yes. Wow. Okay, bring it on, baby. So I want fast answers. Do you sing in the shower? Yes. One song you can play on loop. Sailing by Christopher Cross. What would be a good theme song for your life? I'm still standing. What is your favorite dessert? Um, favorite. Oh, you know what? I like the basics. Hmm. I love caramel custard. If not music, what career path would you have chosen? A critic. So I can bitch at everybody who, <laughs> who, 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 who didn't let me become a musician. Okay. And I became a lawyer so I can sue all those people <laughs> so who, who didn't take on my music. Which artist made you want to become an artist? Elvis. Which is the best song you've released? I hope it's still to come. <laughs> Last ordered meal online. Last ordered meal. Uh, Galoti kebabs. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Last song that you heard on Spotify? Phil Collins, uh, In the Air Tonight. Very nice. Very nice. That was the rapid fire. <laughs> yeah. Really? Nailed it. Nailed <laughs> it. Yeah. Oh. Well, of course. <laughs> I think this was... Is that it? Yeah. That <laughs> <laughs> is that what you got? Is, is this an Elvis uh, impersonation? <laughs> no, no. no it's just, okay. It's just me being silly. <laughs> got it. <laughs> I think I will take my leave then, sir. It was I had a pleasure a lot having you. Yes. And you know, it's it's uh, it's actually from a from a hospi hospitality perspective, it's actually incorrect, it's politically incorrect because I should have been the one feeding you hmm. instead of you feeding me. Yeah. Uh, but that was very kind of you, and and I'm most grateful. And um, feel free to repeat that. I'm okay with it. Yeah. I don't feel offended at all. <laughs> um, but next time uh, I will make sure that I reciprocate. Thank you very yeah, much. For sure, for sure, sir. And next time I see you, I would have learned whatever you did over there on the. Please camera. do, please. I will. Yeah. I will. And um, you know, just as much as all my definitions were. Absolutely bang on. Um, I'm sure <laughs> your plane will also be bang on, you know? Adnan Sami, ladies and gentlemen, a king in his castle. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes. Thanks.